What's good, everybody? It's your girl, C. I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a blessed and prosperous day. And the day of this title, we're going to talk about can white girls wear bonnets? And why are so many people like, oh my God, this cultural appropriation, white girls cannot wear bonnets, they still in our culture, da 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 da, this and that. But without further ado, let's get right on into the video. So let's give it to the title anyway. So if you're to me, you're like, well, I've been wondering the same question. Can white girls wear bunnies? The answer is yes. Yes. You can wear a bunny. Bunnies are not cultural appropriation. It has nothing to do with the color of your skin. It has nothing to do uh, what, with what nationality you are, but everything to do with hair care. It has everything to do with hair care. Um, I know a lot of people think that um, only um, African American culture can wear bonnets because I know you see predominantly a lot of um, black women out in public with it on. You see a lot of black women in the airports with it on. You just see a lot of black women just out in public. So we automatically think that bonnets are for African American culture, but no, it is not. Bonnets are for hair care, y'all. You know what? Bunnies didn't even originate from the African American culture. Yes, I said it. If you're watching, if you're watching this video and you don't believe me, look up your history. And I know a lot of people be like, "Oh, the tiger in law, the tiger in law." However, you say it. Um, slaves were um, <coughs> forced to wrap their heads up and all of that. And I understand that, and that was terrible. But you have to understand this too. A lot of women were wearing head wraps back then, whether it was scarves, bonnets. Come on, look at the little house on the prairie. They were wearing bonnets to bed. They had different, two different kinds of bonnets. They had ones that they wore to bed to keep their hair intact, and they had one that they wore in the daytime to keep the sun out of their faces and different things like that. But we still have to understand that bonnets were worn by all women back then, just not to, um, to the slaves, but all women were wearing them back then, and um, for different different type of reasons. As I put it like that, different type of reasons people wore them. So today, bunnies are worn for frizziness, dryness, hair breakage, hair tangling, hair matting, and so much more. So if you are tuning in, and if you are not African American, I don't care if you're white, you're Mexican, you're Latino um you're biracial i don't care what color you are and if you want one wondering should you wear a bunny the answer is yes get you a bunny actually i sell them i'm wearing one right now the butterfly bunny just located on my website y'all little intermission yes i am a hair company i do sell bunnies for all women i am a diverse hair company i promote to everyone no matter what color you are I don't care your color. I love everyone the same. And we need to start loving everyone, y'all. It's not about color. It's not about, you know, race. We always, you know, target race when it comes to buying a product. I don't think anybody should be judged if they want to do something but and then say, oh, you can't do it because you're not this color. I don't think no one should be judged by the color of their skin. Um, but I think everyone should be judged by the content of their character. Martin Luther King Jr. Just quoted him. So that's why I am a diverse hair company. That's why I promote my business to all women of all races. I'm not just a black owned business. I do not want to be seen as just a black owned business. I am a diverse business. Just a business that love people and um, promote love, unity, and strength. Because guess what? It's hair care. Not race. It's hair care. Not race, y'all. But make sure to get you a bunny and don't be afraid. No, no, I'm scared to wear a bunny. I don't know if it's culture preparation. I don't want to be disrespectful to nobody. Girl, you're not disrespecting no one. No one. You're just trying to take care of your hair. And I understand that. And we have to understand that, y'all, as people, we have to stop being so closed-minded and like focusing everything on on race because it's not about race, y'all. It's about love, unity, and strength. And guess what? We all can appreciate one another's culture. I might learn from your culture. You might learn from my culture. And look, we appreciate one another culture, y'all. And um, so, yeah, 
It's hair care, not raise y'all. If you're wondering, should you wear a bunny? The answer is yes, girl. Go get you a bunny <laughs> and have healthy, beautiful, lovely hair at the end of the day. But anyway, y'all, this is the end of the video. I hope this was helpful to you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want me to do another video, make sure you turn your post notifications to know when I'm uploading content to my channel. Without further ado, that's the end of the video. It's me, Cece. Bye, y'all.